What's going on, guys? I hope you guys are doing great today. I had an awesome day in the market. I hope you had an awesome day in the market. It was crazy. There's a lot going on in the market right now. There's a lot of pumps. I think money is moving around. And it is apparently evident all the money, there's no money in the bonds, there's no money in any of the metals, there's no money in uh, Bitcoin, but Bitcoin held. We did have an impeachment. But before I get into that, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also drop your watch list, what you're looking at tomorrow, long, short, up, down, whatever it is, calls, puts, let me know what you got. I'm showing you what I got, so let's get going. So we got an impeachment on our hands. I think everybody was kind of been waiting on this to see what the news would be. Um, again, the market is not at all affected on what's going on with the current state of uh, the presidency right now and the transition over. Uh, the market really doesn't care. The market is just waiting for the transition of power so it could dump all the money back in renewables. That is what I'm going with. Uh, there's a lot going into this this week. I have a lot of great setups actually today. Uh, the EV stocks themselves, people may be wondering why Tesla and uh, NIO are not running. You got to give them a breather, guys. Come on now. They can't keep running. And not only that, I think the big holdup on the EV stocks is the, the tax bill, right? The, the tax rules that are coming out uh, are what is holding them back, right? If there's some major uh, tax implications, implementations, excuse me, uh, tech might struggle a little bit. And it might, the value might be in value stocks. That's why I think we saw... Airbnb, uh, I think there was some good vaccine news on top of it, but Airbnb was ripping like crazy uh, today. But let's go ahead and uh, bring up the chart in that way. We can get into it. We're going to make this one short and sweet. I've already tried to record this and I messed it up. <laughs> So we're trying to make this short and sweet and awesome. Uh, P-O-I-E as a spec stock, I am in and, and holding this for a while, uh, the next couple of months anyway. I did talk about that briefly yesterday, but let's go ahead and dive into just the market in general. Uh, let's pull up the SPY here. Again, trading sideways with the impeachment. You know, I think we go back to all-time highs tomorrow. Everybody is waiting that, on that transition of power. Now that Trump's impeached, people are willing to put their money back in the markets. I think people were just holding that cash just to get the, the clear go ahead. And then now they were dumping. I think that's why we're starting to see some major moves, uh, especially yesterday and today have been some crazy moves. Uh, so that being said, I think, again, this will break over tomorrow. If we don't gap up overnight. Uh, Tesla, again, it's looking down, I think with all the, the tax stuff that might come out, I think this might dip down a little bit. I don't see a major drop in this. Um, to be honest, if we hit the 775, that might be big enough for us to turn around and rally for um, earnings. And I'll be there with bells on. I know there was some, uh, some news about Tesla as well that came out today about recalls. So that might be why this or Tesla is starting to turn down. Uh, NIO, I think, is just following suit. I think that, that might be why, too. There's a lot of different things I could be playing in uh, playing in there, but it, that's why I think using technicals on top of fundamentals um, definitely helps. So that being said, I think Tesla, Tesla, it's not, not my ideal for tomorrow. I'm just watching it and see what happens. Airbnb, so I did actually pop out of this one today. It ran up again. A lot of times too, when I'm holding these positions like Airbnb, I was pretty heavy in and it popped. I was willing to write it out. But after this popped today, like I put that stop in there after that because these wacky moves like this, those are major point moves and I'm not going to um, give that back. Uh, so I did have it at 165. It did tag me out. <laughs> I don't know how I had a stop limit, but it still came within, I think like five, 
uh, came in with like a nickel or something like that, and then I get it tagged me out. So nonetheless, still ran up a couple more points, uh, thirteen to be in fact. So <laughs> so I missed out on some, but it's all good. I'm still watching this, getting back into this. I still think this the stock is going to be the best value stock of the year. Um, but again, we'll see. Uh, I'm waiting for a correction, so I'm not. I'm. If we have these major run-ups like this, I'm willing to cut it and take profits, especially two-day massive runs like this, uh, only because of the fact that um, that black swan is in there somewhere. And um, I think there's a lot of stuff going around that's not the most stable thing. Uh, we keep trying to pad, pad our lead here with, with more dumping cash into the market. But being said, but with that being said, all that money being dumped into the market, um, I know we're going to run for a while, especially if we get another stimulus, but that might not even come out until maybe April ish. Uh, if that's the case, um, even still, I think, um, I think we could, we might be able to run. I I'm just, I'm running into earnings. And at that point I'm going to be extremely cautious, um, and take it. Uh, day by day at that point, but even still going into it, I don't want to, especially after this big run like this, uh, I'm definitely watching and, and not holding forever <laughs> just uh, just to be sure. So especially Airbnb only because it's, it's still travel and leisure. Um, uh, for all we know, we can get something uh, about being on lockdown and this thing can sink again, a hundred points. So that's, I guess that's the primary reason why I didn't hold on to Airbnb. SQL, no SQL. SQL, I actually took a pretty hefty position in this only as a, as my bank play. Cash App, I think, has been big. They've always reported a crazy amount of numbers, and I think it's going to be no different uh, for the Christmas rally. And so I did take a pretty hefty position here, and we are pushing back up. So I will take this into earnings. Again, if anything changes, just be aware of that. If anything dramatically changes on a day, I, I will sell out. Uh, just be mindful of that. So if this runs crazy, uh, I will put a stop under it. And if I get tagged out, I get tagged out. I'm not trying to be too greedy, but uh, yeah. So I'm in pretty big on SQ. Uh, I do expect that to run quite a bit. Uh, again, if it even pulled back, I would still add. So that's just where I sit with. I do. I believe in the fundamentals of uh, Square. So just be aware of that. If I do heavily believe in the fundamentals, then I stick with it pretty hard, just like I do with Tesla. Um, Apple. Uh, it, it looks good. There's a lot of stocks that look good and going to pop. I didn't take Apple though. Uh, looks good in my opinion. We'll see what happens. Facebook, I did took, take a leap. It's been holding really well, and it's been taking one heck of a beat down. And their earnings have always been, like, fantastic. And so it, it's held a strong support. So I actually finally took a leap out of here. I took a 300 leap to January of 2022. So I'm, I'm looking. Again, I will write this into earnings. Uh, I'm waiting for it to pull all the way up into the week of earnings, perhaps even the day before earnings, and then sell it. That's what I am writing that that call contract in. Uh, BYND, I'm glad to see this finally pulling back up. I think this really starts to rip into earnings. Again, holding. I'm hold, trying to hold this as long as I can. I really think BYND can test, especially with the holidays and everybody, um, all the holidays and everything. I think BYND is going to really kill it, this earnings. Uh, being said, uh, I think we go and test 200 again. So I'm holding a pretty decent size position in this. Uh, not as big as Square, but pr pretty close. <laughs> Snow, uh, again, I'm holding this. I'm expecting a big move out of here. Again, with any, if there's any big bad tech news on taxes or anything like that, this might take a hit. So uh, if this does have a major run, I am going to keep a stop on it. Uh, so uh, I'm quicker to get out of Snow than uh, BYND or SQ. Etsy, I sold yesterday. I am still watching this. I want to see what happens with this. I do like Etsy, although it seems like a lot of the money is transferred over from Etsy to Amazon. Um, and because Amazon has really been uh, turning around. Let's pull up Amazon real quick. Yeah, Amazon really pushed today and it looks to dip back down, but I think now is a reversal. I think we're, we're headed back up is what it looks like. So 
I am Amazon, not heavy. I uh, just got a couple shares. I didn't go crazy in that, but um, this one of my foot in the door with with that one. Uh, just because I believe there's going to be other bigger movers. And I owe, uh, again, I think it's it's playing off of Tesla and EV. It might be, again, tax stuff. Uh, oh, not so much tax stuff, not on uh, NIO, sorry. But I think that's why NIO hasn't sold off. But I think um, NIO is just wearing it out. I don't know quite what it's waiting for. It might just be playing suit to Tesla. I don't have any idea. BA, uh, still watching this, actually, again, not really sure how the new administration in this particular stock is going to move. But with that being said, it it is really building this huge wedge. And like I said yesterday, it, last time I seen a big move out of this, it was like 80 points or something. So I am watching BA, although I don't play BA very much. I It is definitely on my watch list tomorrow. Bingo is on my list tomorrow. It did break the wedge. We might This might actually be gapped up. So this might not be a play for me tomorrow. Uh, but something to watch. It looks like it's already broken, retested. So I can see that running tomorrow. Uh, TAN is a big one here with renewables. Trump out. Um, this may not make a huge move tonight, but uh, going into next week, I think uh, TAN, uh, so I'm looking for leaps in TAN uh, tomorrow. If we don't gap up tomorrow, uh, we'll definitely be looking at, look at leaps in, in TAN. Um Again, I'm not expecting it to gap down. Maybe if we get up to the one, the 117 even, even if it breaks it over these EMAs and is holding there in the morning, I'll definitely be looking at leaps. Because I think for the whole year, renewables is really going to run and really benefit. And Biden's already made that very clear. Um, I mean, that's just um, the blue side typically goes that way anyway. Uh, this is another big one, Workhorse I'm watching tomorrow. I really like this one. It's doing the same thing as BA. I think we're going to get a huge move out of this. Um, so looking possibly at leaps for this tomorrow too. I think tomorrow a lot of these are, look like really good leap plays. Uh, this, I may not take leaps. I might actually take uh, a couple months out for this. But uh, this BIIO, uh, they have – I read an article saying that they have, I guess, software that uh, tests for uh, the virus on your phone. I don't know how that quite works, but uh, they have something that can do that. So I think this play might be a, a, a really good play, actually, um, or maybe even a leap. I might even look at leaps. If they're cheap, I might buy a couple uh, off of profits and, and just let it ride. Uh, this ENPH, so um, I really like this one. I'm looking at leaps tomorrow. I think um, – Energy storage is going to be huge, and there's going to be a lot of money dumped in energy storage, and this probably being one of the biggest ones to capitalize on. Uh, so I really like this play. I'm looking at uh, leaps tomorrow. Uh, so this is another big one. So I got a couple here today. NGA, uh, it is running up after hours. I did take a position on this today, and the premium held up. I, I got it straight out the gates because I thought it was going to really run. It actually dipped down. Uh, past my entry and it still held premium. That's how much the premium is building on this. Uh, this is again, uh, electric buses. Uh, I got uh, a couple, four call leaps. Well, they weren't really leaps. I mean, as far out as I could get was uh, the 35 call for July. Uh, I think those, those are probably being the money by tomorrow. I think this is gonna go deep in the money. I don't know how far this is gonna run. I really think this is gonna run far <laughs> to say the least. So. Uh, just because of uh, the push to get all everything EVs, uh, buses, and all that stuff, and I think that's going to be a huge play along with his uh, his BLBD. Uh, I didn't add in. I'm just holding my regular position. I have this in uh, two different accounts, but uh, I really think this is going to rip as well. I mean, this all might start ripping because of the impeachment. I think we might have a huge gap up and run tomorrow. ZM, I think, can really run. I think they're better plays for me. But I think uh, going in earnings, I think ZM uh, has got um, it's got a lot of room to run. So I'm definitely keeping ZM on watch. A uh, very good company. I think uh, people are shifting money around. So this is starting to come down. I'm waiting for it to come back down. I want to get a good entry on this. Same. Same with Planet 13. Uh, waiting for a good entry on this as well. Needs to come down. Evil Gen looks like it's ready to break out all-time highs. 
I did not. I still have share. I have some random shares. So if it breaks out, that's fantastic. Um, but not taking any new positions on that. Um, 3D printing, no space exploded. Uh, Ark Invest is starting a space ETF. So that's why this huge move came out of here today. Uh, so that might be something to look at some space stocks tomorrow. I need to look at what other space stocks there are, but I know that's why our space got that massive move today. Uh, if SpaceX was out, well, then, you know, that would be climbing or even uh, Starlink, but none of that is public yet. So let's see what else we got here. I think, I think that's pretty much it. So those are my major plays. I mean, there's a lot of good plays. A lot of the rest of them are kind of just sitting there. The chips, I don't like the chips. I don't know what's going on with the chips. I don't know if it's because Apple is making, starting to make their own chips or what is going on, but uh, it's not looking too hot for the chips. They've, they've been taking a beat down. So that being said, I think that is all I have for you guys. So appreciate your time, guys. Short today. I wanted to get it to the juicy points. Squeeze it in. Again, this is the second time I was doing this. I did it with a mic off. It was a little bit longer than this previously, but I still threw on all the best parts. So you didn't miss nothing. And remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right, guys. Thank you. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy.